Before this video begins, I just want to make a quick shout out to Rise Above Gaming. They're a competitive gaming clan and yeah, they have like 40 plus members, so go subscribe to your YouTube channel. I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness, how to stay current and relevant. Yo, hey guys, it's me again, and I've been wanting to open this for a while, and right here, this is what it is, the Corsair CX750M power supply. Um, so if you guys have been uh, keeping up with my comments on my uh, PC uh, unboxing, people are telling me to upgrade the power supply, upgrade it, upgrade it, upgrade it, because the cheap uh, generic power supply that is actually inside my computer might uh, fry the graphics card or the processor and all that. So they actually have this at Best Buy if you guys are wondering if you guys want to buy one for yourself or your own computer, if you guys are building one or upgrading. And yeah, let's just uh, unbox it really quick and I'll be installing it as well. Okay, it has a plastic wrap around it. Just Pick that out, throw it aside. Okay. So then it has this thing. Oh, okay. So it opens sort of like this. Yes. First take out this. Maybe take out no, that's fine. And it opens up like this very nice design to the box. Something a little different from everything else. Here you have a warranty guide. Uh, it is uh, does have a fiber warranty, just some of this other stuff. Um, and it is an 80 plus bronze uh, certified power supply. It is modular, semi-modular sort of. So that means you can like the wires, the ones that you don't need, you don't have to put them in. Here we have the the cable that plugs into the power supply to the outlet. Um, here we have all of our cables that go inside our PC. We have some zip ties to like tie down the wires for cable management. Right here, the main thing itself. Here we have the actual power supply with like the most important cables coming out. It's braided, a black braided cable it has this um, like this salt gel thing. Never eat that. If you do, you will probably die. So I don't know why they even put that in there. But yeah, let me just take off the plastic. Yeah, it has a pretty big fan here to cool down everything. There's actually a little plastic on the Corsair logo. And I actually like Corsair. In the past, I bought their Strafe RGB keyboard, which I'm very happy with. So that's why I went with Corsair again for this power supply. And this stuff is sticky. Uh, right here, it says CX750M on the side, and that's how it's pretty much gonna go. Um, it actually has a power switch. It's pretty cool, and that's where the outlet cable plugs in. And then here, since it is semi-modular, it has uh, these ports that you plug in this, so you don't need to have all of these, which is pretty cool with this power supply. And the one that I have on my computer, I have a whole bunch of extra ones, and you guys will see that right now, and I will be right back once I put open up my computer. This power supply does come with two sets of uh, Molex connectors, two sets of SATA connectors and two sets of PCIe connectors and the ones that actually attach to the power supply are the 24 pin breakaway motherboard one and your uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 pin breakaway CPU connector. Okay, once you have your side panels taken off, you can see the inside of my computer and you guys can see this is a Rock Soul a 600 watt power supply which is a generic brand I've never heard of Roxel ever in my life so this is why I'm upgrading it um, first the first step if you want to upgrade your power supply uh, map out 
where all your uh, cables go from your power supply to everything else, like the graphics card and the motherboard and all that. Um, this just helps with organization, so you might get lost when you're putting in the cables of your new power supply and you don't know where they go, so just map it out. It'll help you give an idea once you put in your new one. So you have to unscrew your power supply first and just start taking out all these cables that are plugged in from the power supply to your other components and then once I do that I'll be right back. And just a little heads up, uh, just take out the, the cables with the actual braided ones. Like as you guys can see right here, this, this one right here connects to the motherboard actually so. Just take out the braided ones, the only ones, they're the only ones that connect to the power supply itself. All the regular cables, the smooth ones, just leave them in because those actually connect to the motherboard and you don't want to take those out. All you have to do is take out the braided ones. So look at all this mess I have. These Molex connectors everywhere. have to take out everything and plug the 24 pin if you guys can see it right there. And yeah, I just, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys can see I took out that old power supply. That thing is junk. Took it out from the motherboard, CPU, took it out all through the back. All that's left is the what connects to the motherboard itself, which we can leave. And now I just have to put in the new one right here. And yeah, I guess. Oh, I'll just put it in, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have finally finished putting in everything. You guys saw that little time lapse part of me putting in everything in. Finally, it is done. 
My cable management is okay. This is like my first time putting in a power supply, so I think I did a pretty good job. There's the graphics card, the 24 pin for the motherboard, CPU one up there. I got the optical drive and back here got the hard drive I got the fans with these Molex connectors both fans and the RGB lighting and yeah I guess it's pretty good I'm gonna put back on the cases and there is my old power supply thank god it didn't blow up but yeah, there's everything. All these cables just for this. Look how many cables I have left. This is why it's good to get a modular power supply. I have all these left. I use one set of each for all of this. And yeah, that gives me a lot more room in my case. Uh, maybe for water cooling, uh, more stuff, which is pretty cool. Now I just gotta like tie everything together with these twisty ties. The, or zip ties uh, that came included and yeah I'll just put back everything on my computer and I'll see if it works okay it actually works I plugged in everything in the back the power all the USBs and yeah it's actually freaking working it's my first time actually uh, putting in a new power supply and it actually worked so I thought it was gonna blow up in my face but I guess not I guess I did a good job on it Everything looks to be working right. RGB lighting is working, fans are working, and everything is working. Like this video and subscribe if you guys want to see any more PC building or any of that stuff. And yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.